Welcome back, everybody. Rod here to give you part two of our tremendous tips to save you time on Excel 2016. If you missed part one, we suggest you watch it right after this video. And do subscribe to our channel so you will receive part three automatically. Remember when you had several worksheets in your workbook? I recall once having 15 worksheets going at the same time. If you ever did this, you remember having to click on the worksheet tab in order to work on it or to check something. But awesome tip number six gives you a faster way to easily move through different worksheets in your workbook. Just press Control plus Page Up or Control plus Page Down and move through your worksheets effortlessly. When writing a long sentence in Excel, the sentence will run over into as many cells as needed for the length of the sentence. When writing a long sentence in a Word document, all you have to do is press Enter and the cursor starts another line. But when you press Enter in Excel, it takes you to another cell. So what do you do if you want a long sentence to fit into just one cell in Excel? Fantastic tip number seven is the answer, and here's how. Start writing your sentence and press Alt plus Enter each time you want to start a new line. And there you have it. Your long sentence is presented in many lines, but in one cell. Keep watching because we're just getting warmed up. Also remember to subscribe to our channel and receive our videos automatically. Sometimes it's necessary to hide confidential information in a document. To do this, you select the information you want to hide, and this can be a, the complete column or row or just the particular cells you want to hide. Then right-click on your mouse, click Format Cells, then click Custom, and write three semicolons inside the type box and press OK. Or you can save time by using tip number eight. To do this, Simply select the cells being hidden, then press Control plus 1. Then click Custom and write three semicolons inside the type box and press OK. Now does that save time or what? When you want to write a series of consecutive numbers in a column in Excel, you can write each number in each cell one by one, or you can write two consecutive numbers and then right-click your mouse in the bottom right of the cell containing the second number, hold and drag the cell down, and then click Fill Series, and you're done. Or you can make this a much simpler process by using tip number nine. Just write a number in the first cell, for example, the number one, then press Control while dragging down the cell by the bottom right corner. A plus sign appears while you're dragging the cell, and boom, you're done. You get the list of consecutive numbers just like that. To sum a range, you usually select the cells to be summed and then go to the Home tab and select Auto Sum. Or you can follow our tip number 10. By placing your cursor at the end of the numbers you want to sum, simply press Alt plus Shift plus equal sign and select the cells now press enter and you get the sum. You're done. Now you have 10 cool time saving tips using Excel 2016. And to practice, just hit the download button below. If you liked this video, please remember to comment, share it, and hit the like button. And be sure to look for part three of our tips, which will be coming shortly. And check out part one if you missed it. Please remember to subscribe so you can keep up with our videos. And remind your friends that if they have an electronic device, they can burn to learn. Thanks for watching.